Jason Capel had a couple of assists. There's one of them. Brendan Haywood for the jam and a foul. The big fella had 16. Up five at the break. Second half, Will Solomon coming in off the bench. The perimeter shooting. He was the key to Clemson. Look at this. Step back. Nice mid-range J. Once again, deep for the three. And a little step back. Brian Morrison, thank you very much. Three-pointer. He had 13 in the first six minutes of the second half, 26 of the game. Carolina down three under four to go. Launched by Morrison. Board work by Haywood. He had four offensive boards. Tar Heels within one. He got called for a T for hanging on the rim. Can't hang there long. Clemson up two. Hobbs, the reverse lay in pretty. Tigers shoot 43% from the field. They're up four. Joseph Forte did not have a great game. Here the three iron. Tony Stockman working underneath. What's he doing here? Not the play you want, even if it goes, does it? That was one of those don't shoot it. Don't, oh, great shot. He had 16 heels, 38% from the floor, and it's a crowded floor. 75-65. Clemson is a winner. And hey, longest win streak in the country right now, Hofstra and Gonzaga at 14 straight. Clemson gets 26 from Solomon. People will say that was the difference, but they actually outscored the Heels 12-4 when he was on the bench in the second half. An eight-day layoff may have contributed to the rusty shooting for the Heels, but they were making no excuses. Them last year, they rocked their world. The game was close. Omar Cook didn't have a good game, but he got picked up by Anthony Glover, who had seven offensive boards. Chris Duhon did play well. He has been the X factor the last two games, even though they lost to Virginia. Duhon is making the Blue Devils a better ball club right now. 15 points, Andy. Four of seven from deep. He drains one there later in the first half. Less than five seconds to go. Who's quicker going from one end of the court to the other than Jason Williams with the ball? Needs some help. Didn't get any. Duke's up 45-34 at the half. He had 26 in the game. Shane Battier, get that shot out of here. Seven blocks. Nate James Williams. Ooh, Matador D, baby. Counted seven rebounds, six assists. He also had one block of his own. The Blue Devils said after the Virginia loss that Andy talked about a minute ago, they had to re-emphasize defense. Krzyzewski said Battier was unbelievable. Red Storm come in averaging 75 a game, obviously here 59. They had 25 of 70 from the field. Cook had as many turnovers, eight as assists, and Williams was superior. First time they've been healthy in a couple of months. Tennessee also got their point guard, Tony Harris, back. Brent Wright, two screws in his thumb. He's back playing. Brent Wright. Some work outside. They also did some work down low. You wouldn't know Wright was hurt. But look at the perimeter shooting here from Dupe and Teddy and Brian Nelson, Brett Nelson, excuse me. Dupay knocking down the three. When they can shoot like this, Teddy Dupay has been on fire since he came back from his back surgery. This is a team that still could get to the final four. Brett Nelson got it. He and Dupay hit 10 threes. No one else on the team made any. Nelson, 25 points in the game, and the Gators are up six in the first. Second half, 57-43. Pretty move by Nelson. All right, later in the half, Tennessee comes back. They're down six. Harris Walker launching a three that finds the twine. He finished with 13, had six assists off the bench. It's only a three-point game. Someone's open. Look at that one bounce to get all the way from that one end to the other. Udonis Haslam threw it down. He had seven. Florida hits 45% from the field, and Donovan and the Gators win it. They've won seven of their last eight, including two over the Volunteers. First time in Jerry Green tenure, Tennessee's lost four in a row. You know, this was the same team that was 16-1 and one to start the year. It's the same players. They're 2-7 and seven since. What one of the assistants told me is they've lost the fear factor. Teams aren't afraid to go in there and beat them. Fourth straight, 20 win the season, hosting Iowa. Jason Richardson doing what he can to help out. Charlie Bell, five assists. Richardson, 13 was 21 in the first half. Steve Alford's Hawkeyes. Martin is shooting slump in this one, too. Well, they can't hit anything without Luke Recker. Can't even get the finish down there. Andy, they missed 16 of the first 18 shots. They fell behind 20 to 4 in the first 10 minutes, exactly. Michigan State pulls away in the second half, 16 point game. Look out for Zach Randolph. Andre Hudson elevated there for the. Five game skid at number 21, Notre Dame. Darius Lane for the Hall. Three, money. Notre Dame, not so money. Season low, 27% in the first half. Second half, Hall up 10. Ryan Humphrey, uh-uh, Troy Murphy rocked his back. Murphy, 24 points, 16 rebounds. Second half, Hall up eight. Eddie Griffin punched out Ty Shine in the locker room fight earlier in the year. I guess they made up Shine to Griffin. The freshman Griffin, 24 points, 10 boards, four blocks. Tommy Amaker's team finally gets a win. Notre Dame's eight-game run, the Hall. Charleston's Jody Lumpkin.
Jody Lumpkin says, I'm built for this. The 100th career dunk in his career. Cooper's up seven at the break. Lumpkin, not done. Jody finished with 20. Now, later in the game, keep this in mind, if Charleston scores 88 points in this game, the fans get free crab legs. The Cougars have 87. Five seconds remaining. Nick Dyer, can he give him crab legs? No. Mobley into Nelson. Can he do it? Yes! Look at this crab! Free crab legs! I'm waiting for Mark Cuban to rush out onto the court. <laughs> oh, that's the Mavericks, and those were chalupas. Congratulations to all who had crab legs and won them for nothing. Lumpkin led five Cougars in double figures. A win would not only snap a two-game skid by Syracuse, but give Coach Bayheim his 23rd 20-win season. That would tie in with Bob Knight and Adolph Rupp for third most all-time among Division I coaches. Standing in the way, the hungry Connecticut Huskies, still fighting for a shot at an NCAA tournament invitation. To the Carrier Dome, we go for our Sports Center Showcase. Preston Schumper at Syracuse Sniper was a mess coming in, just two of 13 from three-point range in his last two games, both Orangemen defeats. But this time against UConn, Schumpert was getting the good looks and knocking them down. Schumpert, six of six from three-point range in the first half. He was money, baby, money. Schumpert, a school record, eight threes in this game. Blackout, 11 of 17 from the field was Schumpert. Second half, Huskies fighting back down eight. Albert Mooring, that light at the end of the tunnel may be you. Mooring, 17 points, part of a 12-zip run that would pull UConn to within two. Syracuse answers with who else? Shumpert. Shumpert, what he's got is not available in stores. 34 points for Preston. Syracuse up 10. 30 seconds to go. Syracuse up two with a ball. Alan Griffin misses it from there. There's a scramble for the rebound. Deshaun Williams comes away with it. UConn is forced to foul. In the end, Jim Beheim gets what he finally deserves. He notches his 23rd 20-win season in 25 years as coach. Warren, this one, thriller in the Big 12. Missouri, unbeaten on its home floor, getting the Sooners. Brian Grauer, three, and the foul. He had 10 points after the free throw. Missouri leads by four. Tigers up by four. Sooners, though, coming back. Hollis Price, two for five from three, knocks that down. Sooners within one. Missouri down by one later. Arthur Johnson on the boards, and the foul. Johnson hit the free throw. Missouri up by two. Same score. Johnny Gilbert here off the save. Jumper. And here's Gilbert thumping that down. Just five for 19, but ties it up at 53. Sooners lead by two. Wesley Stokes driving. Gets that to go. Ties it up at 61. Tied at 61 final seconds now. Nolan Johnson drives. No, that won't go. Hayward up and did it make it. Some are saying no. Guys in the other team. Oh, sure. Quinn Snyder says, no, no, take another look. And one more time, Haywood puts this up out of his hands with a tenth of a second to go. Got very quiet very quickly. Oklahoma takes it at the buzzer. And with the win, the Sooners move into second place in the conference. First home loss of the season for Missouri. Ends a 13-game streak. UNLV and New Mexico. Fran Fraschella. New Mexico up one, just over eight minutes to go in the second half, and then things got crazy. Isaiah Johnson, Eric Chatfield, Waylon White, Marion Palmer, White laying, Chatfield runner, I think. White puts that up and in. Brian Smith jumps that in. Another jumper goes in, losing to Palmer again. And Broussard, one more time. It's a 20-2 run to end the game. It's very close on that. Lobos over the Rebels, beating them by 19. In the second half, UNLV just one for 12 from three.